Hey guys, this is Bluff Monkey again, and in this video we're going to take a look at creating a pad sound, or a texture sound, with just a reverb tail. Um, what I've done is I've set up an instance of Anna, and behind Anna I've put one of my favourite reverbs, which is EOS by Audio Damage. And the reason I've chosen EOS is it has an infinite or hold function, um, which means you can freeze the reverb tail. You can do that with um, the reverb in Ableton Live as well, but I just happen to prefer the sound of EOS a lot more than I do the one in live. So let me just turn the reverb off for a second. I've just picked one of the presets I created for the Adam Ellis um, preset pack for Anna. And the reason I've chosen this particular sound is that there's quite a lot of textural movement going on, and that's something that I want to feed into the reverb tail. So let's just have a quick listen to that. So there's plenty of things for the reverb to pick up on in that sound. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take the volume down um, going into the reverb because once you start building up the reverb tail within EOS, there's no way of um, adjusting the gain coming out of EOS and sometimes it can clip coming out of the reverb plugin, which we don't want. So next thing to do is I'm going to set up an audio channel here and that's going to be set to resample anything that it listens to, anything that it hears. And I'm going to use that to record the output of the Anna channel. So let me play these chords. Oh, before we go on, you can set up the reverb any way you want. Um, just set it up by ear. I just happen to like a big space with a long tail in this instance, because we're going to use it for a long sound afterwards anyway. So it does make sense. So let's just play this into EOS and keep the, in let's switch it on first actually and switch on the infinite function and let's take a listen to what we've got. <clears throat> okay, I quite like the sound of that. that was, that's going to work for what we need to do. So I'm going to switch it back on and I'm going to record it into this audio channel. Okay, that's all we need. We just need a few seconds of that. Let me just turn the reverb off, reverb off again. We can get rid of these plugins now. So now what that gives us is it gives us the sample of that reverb tail here. And let's just have a listen to it in isolation. That'll do for me. And the next thing to do is go into instruments and open up an instance of Simpler. And we can just drag this sample down into the UI here. Right, we're now going to use Simpler as an instrument. And what we can do is we can use the attack, uh, the ADSR envelope to create a fade in and a fade out. So let's give ourselves quite a long attack and quite a long release. So that's pretty much it. I mean, there's, there's things you can do with this afterwards. And um, there's a couple of things to note. First of all, the notes that you play into your reverb tail are going to have some impact on how you can use it afterwards. So if you play a complicated um, minor key, you can't then use it in a major, a track that's using a major key. You could, but it might not sound very good. These are kinds of things they used to do a lot in the 90s. They used to sample synths into Akai samplers and the Roland samplers because polyphony was quite expensive back then. Um, and also, don't forget, you've got the reverb tail baked into this sound as well. So you can't take that reverb off again afterwards. So you could use this for rave tracks, you know, 90s style rave tracks or, or ambient tracks. It worked brilliantly for an ambient track as well. But um, something else I like to do is I like to just throw an EQ over the top. And if we just filter out some of the low and high end, it can create ni a nice warm texture. Let's just have a try with that.
Yeah, it reminds me of the stuff you used to hear from like the old Korg M1 and the Roland D50. That was really kind of breathy digital sounds. So that's pretty much it. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.